hope you are doing well all right so dollar index we have gone through the upside objective that i was um, looking for so let's go back to the higher time frame and see where price is trying to reach for now that we've gone through this um, maybe they want to go for this gap all right now looking at this price action here it looks to me that dollar index doesn't want to come down but i like the fact that we have this price signature here what this means is that when it's coming back down again um, i don't think this is going to be um, a level to anticipate a buy it might be a bounce and then ultimately it will attack this low so looking at how price is shaped let's see where we might see price go to next okay so we have 50 percent right here and then the optimal trade entry which is 70 i'm sorry 68 to 79 retracement level all right so let's go to the weekly it lines up with the low of this down candle so that'll be my next upside objective the low of this um, down candle if we hide the line chart we will see that that's the last low prior to all this move to the downside so 96.88 is my next upside objective which is right here and we are not far away I think price is gonna reach it maybe tonight or tomorrow and then from there we will see what price will do next all right so we take it one at a time so for now since we went through all of the levels I was looking for we'll be aiming for that for now on the euro that will bring us to the 1.13 full figure um, today during the session I said that because they've gone through 1.4 okay, because they've gone through 1.4 the next level that price is going to reach for is the 1.3 so 1.3 is the next downside objective um, if we get through that then we'll go for 1.25 1.25 but that would be um, once we go through this because maybe price might pause here but we are still bearish anyway so look for a continuation to the downside um, British pound I think this might be the one that you can participate in again uh, because we are yet to take out this low once that low is taken they're gonna send price here and on the daily time frame okay if you look here there's absolutely nothing in here that can cause price to pause um, when I was investigating there was a small four hour time frame gap but the daily is gonna be keen so this is where I'll be expecting price to go to so right now we are below 1.34 uh, so we are below 1.35 so 1.34 will be the I'm sorry 1.3 3 so 1.3 should be here 3 1 right there so this equal low is still intact um, for where price I'm expecting price to go to all right so look for a breaking market structure on the water time frame and then you go short targeting this low and lower okay I think 1.33 would be ideal target for now. So 1.33 is going to be the ideal target. And then if you go through that, then 1.32. Okay. New Zealand, we've gone through that low beautifully as we were expecting. And I said we should see price go to this level. That's what we are looking for. 
I've not ignored this here because that looks to me that it's too clean and they might attack this low. So yes, this is a level I'm watching, but my eye is also here for a run below these lows. Okay. So that's what you're watching. Um, if you're short, I have a position from where we sold last week and I have one from here as well. Hopefully you have a piece on for this downtrend. Same thing applies to the Aussie. Um, hope you had a trade on from last week and this week as well because yesterday live session we were looking for price to break down and come and attack this low. So we are still in course for a continuation to the downside. Euro pound, um, what I was expecting on this did not happen. Um, obviously price did not give us the price action that we were looking for in here to offer us the trade long um, this morning it did offer something but it was temporary um, it got came back stopped me out here so I'll leave this one alone for now maybe I'll look at it again tomorrow because I can see some divergence going on and I'll be watching this high um, if we do break above that high then I can start looking for potential longs you can do the same thing as well we are trading inside a weekly auto block okay um, that's the weekly order block here we are trading inside it right so make sure you watch it for a breaking market structure because i believe that there might be something that will give us a potential not a reversal but a tradable bounce in here but you're going to use the one hour high as your breaking market structure okay um Aussie New Zealand uh, live session today I gave you this down candle for a buy targeting this high and then there and we are already in course okay so hopefully you had this in your charts Euro New Zealand I said I was not touching this but it looked like price was gonna go to the 50% and the 618 but I'm not in this one. The one that I'm in is the Aussie, um, Euro Aussie, which we bought here. Okay, we have a small profit of about almost 30 pips now. We are looking for first TP, there, second TP, and then hopefully we go up. But right, first TP, I think we might get that either overnight or early hours um, tomorrow during the London session. And pound Aussie and pound New Zealand. During the live session today, I said they might go for this equal high and then hit the breaker. So if you are interested in buying, protect yourself with this low, target this, and then that. And that's what they've done. Okay. I hope you guys are paying attention to the things that I'm pointing to you because the logic is what I want you to learn and not necessarily the trade itself but the logic okay understand why price should do what I'm saying it should do Power New Zealand um, I didn't have anything on this one for today so I'm gonna pass um, the yen pairs we still have the New Zealand yen dropping we are almost at TP2. I keep saying that because to me it looks like it should be dropping by now, right? We are not far away. Uh, 60 pips to go. Um, let's see what price we do tomorrow. Looking at the daily, it looks to me that we might get dropped tomorrow to come and attack this low. Okay. Um, CAD yen. Um, today I gave a sell on this and I said that mean threshold of this last up candle if we close above it you want to close the trade okay as I'm doing this daily summary right now you can see price has closed above this time of the day is 2114 okay this is not good for the shorts so the idea is to close the trade all right and 
the stop loss is almost 34 pips here is 19 pips it's half of the risk so you don't want it to come all the way up here and stop you out with the full risk half risk you close it and then you save yourself the full risk okay so i'm gonna advise you to close it i'm gonna send a notification to close it what will trigger uh what will make me go back into this trade well if you look on the lower time frame there is still imbalance in here imbalance in there with this last up candle it can reverse and go down right but i'm not gonna take that chance um because on the high time frame we've closed above the mean threshold which you're not supposed to so you can close the trade and then wait once we take out this low again it's gonna pull back and then you go short or you can decide to watch it and see what it will do here and there okay if you want to hold on to it and see if it's gonna reject you can also do so now what will be my uh, what will I do I go with the notion that if price is gonna go down it should go down if it's gonna stop me I should stop me out so the rule is let it be but I'm trying to save you all the hassle because the mean threshold yes sometimes it can be where price is not supposed to breach but sometimes it can breach it and then still drop so I'm gonna cancel you to close the trade wait for it to break market structure again and then you take it you can also decide to look at this two those two levels that I've pointed out and then see if you want to wait and see how price is gonna react in that okay and um, I think pretty much that's all I have for you for today um, gold um, before I go away gold live session today I said we should see gold come down and attack these lows right and that's what they're doing and the trade was what selling the breaker selling the breaker here to go and attack this low okay so that's where price is gonna go I think price is gonna come all the way down to at least this candles high all right price is gonna come to at least that candles high so if you did short it partial here partial there and then just leave the rest and see what price will do next all right oil I'm still bearish I'm expecting them to go and attack this low so let's see what will happen tomorrow that's all I have for you for today guys thank you very much I'll see you tomorrow same time for our live session and another daily market summary until then take care have a wonderful evening and I'll see you soon